Here you go, this is now tablet for one week and for 17 employees. It is again a 2D tablet, but it cuts a slice inside the cube database with category Shift. You can see the first shift day on standard table and on tablet. When I go to second spreadsheet, and it is the same like in the second column on the tablet. I do this one more time. It becomes the third day on the left spreadsheet, and you can see it's the third column on the tablet. I believe I can close standard spreadsheet window because this is no longer relevant. The same is for 7 days and for every day there are 17 employees. I'm going to add summary row now. It shows number of employees for each day within the week. Now, I change this tablet to two teams so matrix Y to 32 and size Y to 14. That means two teams with 32 employees for one week. Then I shift my tablet data to next names. The next name on the tablet is name 18. And let's change range from 32 to 24. Now the tablet gives data for second and third team and on week one. But I want to get data for the last two weeks. I now proceed to change matrix Z to 14 and for better and clearer presentation, I also change size Z to 22. My tablet shows 14 days and two teams which are employees 18 to 41. This time, I want to change the position of the first tablet day to 2nd of May, and then go to next week, which is the 8th of May. I have got again two weeks of two teams for weeks 1 to 3. Then I go back to 1st of May. And this time, I want to see a really big tablet. I change from matrix Z 14 days to one month, which means I need to resize the tablet a little bit. Now there are 30 days on my tablet, and I want to see three teams. I do this by changing Y matrix to 41 and resizing Y axis to 18. Also, I go to first name. We can see how big a tablet can be. I proceed to change the number of days to 7 and size and access Z to 9. Next, I may increase the number of employees to 54 by changing matrix Y to 54. So I have got a tablet for 1st of May with 54 employees. Again, it's important to note the values on the last column and edge of the tablet are the same. Let me skip few changes and re-show the XY axis tablet with 1st team for 1st of May. Once again, I return to next days and then back. I would like, however, to see any employee with more than one day. I do this by going to change number of employees to 1. First I change Y size of the tablet to 1, and then matrix Y to 1 as well. Okay, so I have got now name one employee for 1st of May.
but I add one more day by changing matrix Z to 2 and maybe size Z to 2 as well. Now please take a look at the tablet. It shows two days, 1st and 2nd of May. I add one more day, so the tablet now shows three days. Maybe this time I change it to one week. It will be 7 for matrix Z, and I think size Z should be 7. However, I want to add one more week. It will be done by changing matrix Z to 14, and for better view, size Z to 15. OK, so now I have got the tablet with two weeks of activity of employee name 1. Now I can proceed to change the position of the dates in the database. When I click on the wall of the tablet, I see the first date changes from 1st to 2nd of May, then to 3rd, and so on. It's also obvious that this employee with second and third week jobs. I then return to the first week, of which this step will involve changing the employee. Using the keyboard, I change name 1 to name 2. Please observe that I got data relevant to this employee. I change this a few more times with name 3, 4, 5, and 6. I also change 10 in one step, so it becomes 16, 26, and 36. After this step, I return to name 1. 